Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be going through this problem on the screen. I posted this on my channel uh, yesterday, so it's been up there for 24 hours and I haven't yet seen a comment giving an answer. So if you want to go ahead and have a go at this question, um, supposedly it's a pretty hard one. Um, if maybe no one gave it a try or no one saw it, but I didn't see anyone posting an answer. There were some comments asking some questions, so I thought I'd go through it in a video. So give it a go, see if you can crack it. And before I go through my solution, there are a number of ways to solve this. I'll go through one way, but it's not the only method. There are other methods to solve this problem. Okay, so firstly, what I wrote in the post, what I haven't written here are these are two squares. So these are two overlapping squares. And this is all the information you're given. You're told these are two squares and this length is five and you need to find the shaded area. Okay, so let's go ahead and label a few things first. Um, so let's call the length of the light blue square A and the length of the dark blue square B. So that means this length up here would be B as well and this one over here. And then I'm also going to label the width of this rectangle. So this little length here, I might call that um, W, why not? W for width. All right, so we've labeled some things in this diagram. The next thing is to recognize there are a lot of triangles in this picture. So there's a right angle triangle here. Um, and if we look at this angle here, um, because this is a square and this is 90 degrees, this angle must be the same. So one way to think about this is if this is a flat line and you raise that square up by a certain amount, um, this, this side is going to shift from this flat line by an equal amount, right? I'm sure that's clear to most of you that why those two angles are equal. Next, uh, this is also a right angle triangle in here. And uh, this light blue line is A as well. So that's also a side of the light blue square. All right, so we've got some triangles, we've got some side lengths. Um, the next thing is I'm going to relate these two variables, A and B, to this length five using Pythagoras. Um, so we can say that because this is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle, we can say that A squared plus five squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which is B squared. So I've taken these two legs, squared them, and that equals the hypotenuse squared. Next, I want to rearrange this so that I have the number, the five squared by itself. So I can take this a squared from the right hand side. On the left, I'll be left with five squared, which is 25. And on the right, I'll have b squared take a squared. Okay, so I have a relationship of a squared, b squared, and that equals 25. So this was the Pythagoras part of the problem. Next, I want to also have a relationship for this shaded area. So what, how would we define this shaded area? Well, this would be the length times the width, so B times W, okay? Next is the similar triangles part of this problem. Um, so we know with similar triangles, the ratio of the sides is equal. So if I look at this triangle down here, Let's call this triangle one. Uh, if we look at the long leg of this triangle, it's A and the hypotenuse is B. So the ratio of, the, of those sides will be A over B. And then if we look at this right angle triangle up here, these two will actually be similar. So this is triangle two. They will be similar. Why are they similar? Well, for similar triangles, all you need is two angles to be equal because that means the third angle will also be equal. So all the angles are equal. Therefore you have two similar triangles. So here we've got a 90 degrees and this angle is equal. So these two triangles will be similar. That means that these two sides will be in the same ratio as triangle one. Now we don't have the length of this long leg here because B is the length of this entire dark blue square, but we can also come up with an expression for this long leg of this right angle triangle. So from here to here, that's going to be B, take this little length here, which we've called W, 
Um, so this ratio for triangle two is going to be B take W, the long leg, over the hypotenuse, which is A. Okay, so now we have an equation relating those two triangles using the idea of similar triangles and the fact that their sides are in the same ratio. Next, we're going to do a bit of algebra. Um, so we're going to rearrange this equation uh, by cross multiplying. So multiply A over here and B over here, we'll get A squared equal to B squared take BW. Okay, now look carefully at what we've already figured out. Uh, that we've said the shaded area equals BW and we've said B squared take A squared equals 25. So is there a way to rearrange this equation so that we can get BW equal to B squared take A squared? Um, so if we add that BW to the left hand side, we'll have BW positive BW over here and then take the A squared from the right hand side we'll have b squared take a squared and therefore that equal 25 so this area is going to equal 25 and that is the shaded area the length times the width okay so the answer to that problem is 25 as I said there are different ways to solve that so I'd be interested to see if you do come up with a different method uh, please leave it in the comments I'm sure people would be interested to see different ways of approaching this and also maybe more intuitive ways. So this algebra, while it makes sense logically, it doesn't necessarily explain why this length of five is related to this area. Maybe you can think of an intuitive way of explaining that uh, completely geometrically without any uh, algebraic working out. Um, so there you go, that was the problem I posted yesterday in case you were curious about the answer. I hope that was helpful. Please leave a like if so, and I'll see you next time. Bye.